Hello everybody, my name is Wim Reaper and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Last episode was our anniversary episode, so we had a party. We didn't really do that much else, it was just kind of a fun time. So if you missed that episode, don't worry. You didn't miss that much and I'll fill you in if anything relevant comes up from that episode. But we're starting off the day with all of the kids have their homework done. They're all kind of just like needing to sleep and get their needs up. And Ginny is cleaning up the house just a little bit. She's so good at just helping out with that. And she's just going to get herself a meal. But yeah, the, like Luna especially is in a state of disarray. The toddlers really need to be taken care of. And then I was also thinking this episode, we would go visit Rita's first grandkid, Meredith, which is Shaggy's daughter. So that would be really fun is what I was considering doing. But we're going to get the kids ready for school first and then we're going to take care of the toddlers because they're just kind of a handful and we don't want them to be left all alone in such a bad mood. But... I think basically everyone except for Luna should be able to get back on track. Ginny should go to the bathroom though and then I think we could have her just play on the computer because she just needs to get her fun up really fast. Luna is kind of a bit of a lost cause. We're not going to make them work hard because their performance is all already high enough. We need to get their skills up tonight though as well as um, Luna's character trait because I think that she needs to go volunteering to get it up. Her responsibility is almost in range but then I think empathy would actually be faster because then you just send her volunteering a couple times and it's all done. So that's my thoughts for the episode. It's gonna be more of a normal one now so if you didn't enjoy the last one it'll be all back to how it was. So Rita really needs to sleep and she needs to eat and then ugh, the toddlers like look at Nathan. He is just a stinky ball of like dirt right now. Like that is just not cool. I think we ought to ba bathe him and um just yeah, he needs attention and he needs hygiene. So if we can give him a bath then that should solve it. Unfortunately, he's also really sleepy though, so we should send him to bed. Maybe the toddlers will sleep through the night. All of the kids are off to school. <laughs> Poor Luna, like she's in such a bad mood. Uh, we'll let, or no, we'll cancel that. You don't need to wash the dishes, it's okay. Just go to school. And then what about Ginny? Okay, they're all headed off. So the teens don't need to work hard, like I said, but the kids definitely do. And I think I'll come back when Rita wakes up. So I actually kind of just took a peek at the mailman and I don't know, he's kind of cute. He's a young adult. So I think we're just going to get Rita to do, yeah, an introduction so that maybe we can have him as a donor sometime. He's really interesting looking with like pink hair and all that. I'm going to answer this. Okay, so this is a character value for Bagel, and I decided I want to get up his manners, but then we'll also get up maybe his responsibility? No, let's raise up his empathy as well. So either manners or empathy for him now. But anyway, we've introduced ourselves to this guy, we had to pay our bills, and we really, really should write this episode. But it's already 11, so I kind of want to get food, take care of the toddlers, and then hopefully get out of here to visit uh, Shaggy and Carolyn's daughter. Or we could invite them, but then we can't invite the daughter because we don't know her. So we'll have to go over to their house, but that is fine. I'm just gonna check which of them is in the most dire need. Okay, they both really need hygiene, but Nathan needs attention. And Ginny, we just need to keep up her responsibility. So we might as well do this. Okay, as for Nathan, yeah, we'll give Nathan a bath as soon as we can. Oh, he just invited himself in. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> Get out of our house. I just wanted to have a conversation while he was here to drop off the mail. Like, what kind of a mailman is that? Okay, well, we're just going to go to the bathroom after this, and then we're going to head out 
and we can write a book when the teens come home from school, I think. Hopefully they don't need to use a computer for fun or anything, but they could also use something else. Okay, here we are. We have just arrived at the apartment and we're going to do a friendly introduction to Rita's granddaughter. She is so cute. Look at her. She's also like really interesting looking too. I did fix her up in Create a Sim because uh, her outfits were a little atrocious. She's like, she looks a lot like her mom, but then like you can definitely see Shaggy in there too. I'm really curious to see what she'll look like when she grows up a little bit. Here, we'll just comfort her and maybe brighten up her day. And then we should also talk to Carolyn and Shaggy and like compliment, I guess, <laughs> like give family advice. That would be a good idea. Why are they just in the lobby though? I don't know. They like never go into the apartment. Oh, she didn't like um, Rita brightening up her day, I guess. I think she's just too sad. I wonder what's wrong with her. I guess we could ask what's wrong, but I don't know. I could apologize to the toddler. She's so cute. <laughs> I think it'll be so interesting to see when she ages up too, because we usually speed right past a toddler stage as soon as we can, whereas if you wait like the full length, it's- I don't know how long it is in standard game mode. I never play it, so... <laughs> But I kind of want to go into their house. Maybe we could, uh, visit it? I don't remember which apartment is theirs, actually. Is it this one? Just knock? We'll see if that works, because I never know which apartment is theirs. Oh, she really doesn't like us. I think she's fussy. Oh, and school is over, so we'll head back home. Um, as soon as we can, but we should also, I don't know, we could just help them out with their house. It looks like there's like nothing. Oh, we should clean this up for them. Or we could get, we could make them food. That's something that a mom would do. It's like, here, you've just had a kid. Let me bake or make, um, breakfast for you guys. Or I guess it would be more like a lunch. We're not going to answer Fred's phone call right now just because we're busy. And we want to get back to our kids as soon as possible, but yeah, I think that's just so sweet of Rita. She's definitely the type to do that. She's a total family girl. But I think maybe, yeah, okay, we're basically done the French toast. We'll head back home now and just say goodbye to Shaggy and Carolyn. All right, we're back at the house and I've just set Ginny up to potty train Alex. Rita is going to work on a book, and as for the triplets, we really, really need to work on their skills. Unfortunately, Lily or Luna is like really, really tired, but we do need to get her to do some gardening, even if it's just selling these plants. Um, I don't know why isn't it letting us? Oh, there we go. Sell all. Um, and then we should see if we can get her to experiment a tiny bit, but gardening is her main skill, so I might just get her to, like, plant a ton of stuff. And we might have to switch her skill to video gaming if this doesn't go well, because, like, I know I said I didn't want to rush past these guys aging up and all that, but I also really am getting nervous that Rita's not going to be able to get pregnant in time. Is she just too uncomfortable? I think that's what it is. Okay, well, she can go to sleep, but like I was just saying, like, we don't want to wait until the absolute last second to age these guys up because although we love them and we don't want to see them go, like, it's just not going to be good if Rita doesn't keep having kids because that's the point of the challenge, right? Okay, so Lily can work on her violin probably because she is not like too bad for fun. So once she's just got her energy up a little bit, I think we're going to do that. Unfortunately, it's like super dirty in this house, but maybe Bagel can help out because he needs to get his manners up so he can clean up the plates. And as for the toddlers, they should be doing something productive. I guess Nathan is eating. That is kind of productive, taking care of your own needs. And Alex is getting up his potty skill, but I think we should get them to work on like thinking and um, potty if we can. I know that Nathan can do potty by himself, which would be really helpful, but I think we might get Alex to just 
do what's that a whole bunch of times and then after that he can play dolls because he can just get up his imagination skill faster that way don't shout forbidden words rita that's bad examples look Ginny just did it <laughs> she copied you that's horrible okay we'll get Ginny to clean up and then i think we're gonna get her to make some food like I'm pretty sure sims can cook no matter what kind of mood they're in so that's really convenient for us because then we can get her to cook like some well I guess not really cook but make some blt because she's like so close you guys to getting level three of her skill I'm the most concerned about luna because she has the hardest skill to get up as well as the hardest character value and I think what we're gonna do is send her volunteering because then at the very least, if we can't get up her skill, we won't have to worry about her character value anymore. Let's volunteer at a soup kitchen that's kind of cauldron-y, I guess. And yeah, it looks like it's like not as dirty in here anymore, so they're not as uncomfortable. That's good. But we need to get Ginny... Yeah, Ginny's on to her skill, Luna's on her character value. Okay, they're all going to have to do their homework as well. Uh, maybe we should get Bagel to try to do his if he can. Yes, he can. Okay, and as well as Muffin to do hers. She can go to the bathroom though. <laughs> okay, Rita finished writing her book, so I think we're gonna go outside and publish it. I think we can sell it. Uh... Hmm. We should call the power company. Luna... Okay, Luna fixed the problem. Anyway, uh, we're gonna submit it to the Literary Digest. It's an excellent quality. It's not bestseller, but you know. Um, okay, apparently we got some emotional control. And Bagel just finished his homework. So, Bagel, you are free to go sleep. Why is- oh, Ginny is just like really dirty. <laughs> um, Okay, so Rita, she needs some fun, and I think we're gonna set her to do a no sweat run just because she actually really enjoys working out and that's kind of healthy. Also then, if the teens need to, they can use the computer. Like the chances that she's gonna get her gardening skill up today are really slim, but at least her character value will be up. Maybe she could do video gaming when she gets back. Which I didn't want to be her skill, but if that's the way it has to be, that's just how it has to be. We'll still work on her gardening, don't get me wrong, but if it's going to take too long, we just can't do anything about it. But let's see if she got it in range, or at least like how close she did. I don't think she did get it in range. Like, she's that close to getting her empathy up. So if we get like a pop-up at school, or if she just has to go volunteering one more time, we're basically set. And I was going to play this into the next day if that was like a thing you guys were willing to sit through and like i'm thinking i'm gonna start doing two days at a time rather than one at a time i've just been cutting out a lot more recently and i hope that's okay with you guys but i just tend to find that there's a lot of filler in these episodes like cleaning up the house and stuff that i don't think you guys really want to watch so i think i will go into the next school day but we'll end it after that and from now on i think i'm gonna start doing that and if you guys don't like it just please comment because that's the best way i can get your feedback and we'll just continue on from there so i've woken up all of the kids to work on their skills which maybe they'll be able to be done before tomorrow I decided to go with video gaming for Luna after all because I don't think that she's ever gonna not be like be in a good enough mood to do gardening but that'll be like maybe her job when we decide to move her out. Ginny is working on some sandwich or something. I don't remember what I made her make but her skill is so so close to getting all the way up and Lily is gonna pl practice on a violin and the house is a little cleaner. There was a glitch with cleaning up these dishes, which it seems like might have happened again. So I had to like actually go into build by and then delete them like entirely because there's no way we would get rid of them otherwise. Like the Sims just 
for some reason it just like won't let them wash them even though there's like sinks and garbages everywhere so it's nothing to do with like anything like that i think it's just getting glitchy because it's a big save file you know but lily's actually getting not as horrible as she used to be still bad you know don't get me wrong still bad but not absolutely atrocious i really hope that Ginny's skill just goes up so she doesn't have to cook anything else yes it did awesome so she is off the hook as far as skills go but they really all do need to do their homework still um luna probably could do it uh and i i don't know about her skill getting up to be honest with you guys like it's already almost four we should really get these girls to just do their homework and then send them off to school all right so school is starting soon and everyone got their homework done so that's actually super awesome i wasn't expecting it to be like that or did jenny get it done not quite actually we might have to make her work hard for a little bit of the day but like she's in a horrible mood so i'm not gonna push her uh luna could probably tend to take a nap even though we'll have to like wake her up and stuff but whatever and Lily also can take another nap on the couch. Rita, I don't know what she's doing. Oh yeah, I took her, told her to write a book, but then I also sent her to sleep. It just didn't cancel her writing the book for some reason. Um, since, not Bagel, what's his name? Alex, since Alex is hungry, <laughs> I'm gonna get out this BLT. Even though it's poor quality, like at least he won't starve. And then maybe we could get Rita to make some food or Ginny when she gets back home. But it's basically school time. And I'm going to skip over taking care of the toddlers for the day because there's not really anything I wanted to do. And it is 8 a.m. So that means that it is time for them to go off to school. And we'll see where their grades sit once they come home. Alright you guys, just a little update. First of all, these two are actually being pretty good today. They're being little cuties, so I had to show you guys just how much of cutie pies they're being, basically. <laughs> they're just so adorable, hanging out, talking to each other on the couch. But also, um, Luna did actually get up her character value while she was in school. So that means that in the next episode, these three are very, very likely to age up. And also, I really would like your feedback on if you would like a prom for them. Uh, in addition to that, I would say that the toddlers would probably be ready to age up next episode as well. As long as we don't spend too much time out of the house, that is. And yeah, it's really exciting because like they're actually getting up their skills fairly quickly. Like Alex is still really far behind his brother Nathan. But if we can get Nathan's skills done even, then we only have one toddler to worry about. And that goes by so fast. So that's just a little update for you guys. The kids are almost home. So uh, I'm just going to skip a little bit more and then you will have missed basically nothing. Okay, so Bagel and Muffin got their grades up as well as... Ginny because her skill was actually finished. She is enraged which means that we should probably get her mood under control by calming down in the mirror and stuff like that because those emotions can be real dangerous uh, for teens. But basically we're at a good place where Ginny could technically age up right now but we're not going to do that. But we're going to get up Luna and Lily's skills tomorrow like at the beginning of the episode They'll hopefully get a grade A when they're done school, and then we're, I'm going to do a prom if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. And we're going to invite Lily's boyfriend and probably Daichi just because he's the only other teen we know. So it'll be like a nice little event, but with not too many people. But that's the plans. Thank you for watching. I had a great time. I'm just going to quickly select a thing for Muffin. I think we're doing Empathy. I don't remember if I chose empathy for her or something else. I don't think I did choose for her. So we're doing empathy. And okay. Yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Please let me know what you think about doing the longer time span per episode. Like doing two days instead of one day per episode. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching yet again. 
and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Goodbye!